What is up guys, it is Q here, bringing you all a brand new video on The Long Dark. So as you guys can see, we are back at the, what is this called, Quonset? Is that what this place is called? Quonset Garage. Um, we're back. And I dropped off the supplies we had gotten. Uh, I made it here. And I crafted some stuff, cooked up some meat. And as you guys can see, we now actually have the wolf skin coat. I just made it right before recording. I wanted to make it um, before I started recording because that would have been a lot of time on camera of me just dicking around with the crafting menus and then making food and water to... Uh, also, don't don't mind that dirty water bottle. Um, didn't want to just have a boring, like, 10, 20 minutes of me trying to craft that thing, but yeah. Um, we also, I also crafted an arrow from the broken arrow bits we got. We, of course, have the bow now. We have an extra arrowhead and enough feathers to make one other. We just need a simple arrow shaft. I've got some more... Hides curing, all of the guts finished curing, um, as well as the other wolf hide. And so if we pop in here, normal wolf hide, we only have a deer hide, and four guts in total. So, a little bit of an oof. But, um, we do have the wolf skin coat, which is certainly one of the better clothing items in the game. And I honestly think it is going to really, really, really come in handy. Um, so on our, we're, we're pretty much just about ready to tackle Timberwolf Mountain. And we, when we, when we go up Timberwolf Mountain, we are going to load up on warmth. We're not really going to worry about movement so much. We're going to worry about warmth. So we'll probably throw on the ski boots and we'll equip the Mariner's jacket as well. Because right now, as you guys can see, our sprint is... It's about what we had with the ski boots, but it's not terrible. Uh, we have plenty of ammo for the revolver. Um, and so I figured what we would do today is we just kind of hang out um, and prepare for Timberwolf Mountain. So we are we are pretty much ready. We just need to um, prepare ourselves and get some supplies necessary to repair our clothes. And then... What I want to do for food source is I want to go out and actually pick a lot of cattail plants because they're very lightweight, but, you know, 20 of them only weighs like 2.2 pounds. But uh, each one gives you 150 calories, so um, that's 3,000 calories in 20 of them, which only weighs 2 pounds, so... It's actually a quite good food source, and so that is my plan for food, is we're going to try and do... What is that? Oh, back, back. We're going to try and do cattail plants. Um, I don't know the best place to get cattail plants from, um, but I do know we're going to head down this way uh, to kind of go map out this way first. But anyway... I also wanted to give a little bit of a life update. I didn't even realize we had an open this. Because some ch stuff has changed. Um, I think I can use this. I'll take that. Um, I still have my same recording setup, and I'm still staying in my apartment. Um, I was originally supposed to be moving to Arizona a couple of days ago, but plans with that kind of fell through. Um, it's, it's a long story that involves my father pretty much, uh, freaking out on me, um, and a lot of other people, and kind of going, <sighs> unfortunately, off the rails, um, and it's not the first time it's happened, um, but it's still unfortunate, and in his... Um, pretty much, I wouldn't necessarily call it blind rage, but in his time of clouded judgment, um, and, um, in his 
in this time period where his judgment is clouded and his overall um, cognitive, his ability to think with a fair amount of uh, foresight is certainly hindered. Um, it, which is unfortunate. It's kind of a situation uh, where I would say he's the whole situation with this. Um, it is very clearly been affecting his memory. Unfortunately, I don't want to get too into it, but um, if I do, I'll have a separate, you know, serious video on it. But it has kind of changed his view of the entire situation to being very myopic, um, and so he's very very close-minded, and has a very narrow view of things right now. Um, and he has pretty much written me off, um, and wants nothing to do with me, um, which, while unfortunate, I can't necessarily say I'm too disappointed in, because, uh, he's kind of brought a good amount of havoc into my life since... Holy crap. Wow. Okay. Um, I guess we'll fucking mark this as a hunting area. But, um... It's just unfortunate because I don't like saying I, I don't really care because I do care. Um, it's something that makes me a little bit sad. But the amount of stress um, and uncertainty that all of this has brought is now no longer there. Um, I still have my uh, part-time job at my apartment, and so I'm not too worried about it. Um, it's just unfortunate that things had to go as far as they did. Um, he also is threatening legal action on me because of $500 that he gave to me and then wanted to go back on that. He wanted to very suddenly uh, keep it, and I pretty much told him no, that he had given it to me, um, and it was on a prepaid card. Long story short, I had cashed it out and I had destroyed the card, that way it wouldn't fall into the wrong hands, um, and yeah, it's because it, the entire time I was under the understanding that it was, you know, he was giving me this $500, which is exactly what he originally told me. He did not really give me any specifics. But, uh-oh. And... got him. Uh, we will quarter this guy. Um, but, and he gave that to me, and after I told him, like, he, I told him not to contact me, after he had flipped out on me, and he did not quite like that, um, you know, for, because he's, his judgment is very clouded right now, unfortunately, and he told me, you know, either that I owed him $500 for the $500 that was originally on the card, or, um... I had to bring him the pieces of the destroyed, uh, card, and he, th I, um, contacted, um, some law enforcement, I contacted, um, some people with legal counsel, and, um, they pretty much all told me the same thing, and that was, uh, don't worry about it, there's not much of a case, but he... Um, you know, the worst thing he can do is take you to small claims, but, um, and then he had another family member of mine call me, um, and then interrupted the call to, you know, scream and yell at me, essentially, tell me that I'm a shitty person, and that, uh, he would be taking me to small claims court over the $500 that he gave me, and so it's a pretty shitty situation all around, but... I'm not particularly worried about it because, um, it, it, he has very little case if it makes it to small claims, but the 
chances of it making two of it making it two small claims is quite minimal, to say the least. It's it is not likely. He's been threatening members of my family that he's had uh, similar kerfuffles with in the past um, with stuff like this. I'll get into more detail if I make a video. Um, but yeah, so it's been a stressful situation, but I've been trying to make the best of it. That is another hatchet. That's really good. Um, that's just a simple part of it, but it, it's, it's been a stressful situation, but I've made the best of it. Um, <clears throat> uh, sorry, I kind of had a frog in my throat, apparently. Oh, good axe, too. Um, but I, of course, visited my gunsmith, um, and I picked up this. my new firearms, um, that Heritage Rough Rider. Uh, with the 16-inch barrel and my uh, Taurus PT-709 Slim, um, because my 21st birthday was just recent. Um, very exciting stuff, and, you know, my, my, my birthday was actually uh, on the 11th, and uh, this whole experience has kind of been, like, one hell of a birthday gift. Um, but... I've, I've made the best out of it, um, the best out of a bad situation, to be completely honest. Um, and so now I'm just kind of uh, continuing on with YouTube and my job and uh, hoping to continue pursuing um, some dreams and hopes that I have um, that... May or may not be well placed, but here's to hoping. But this gives me a chance to at least stay settled where I'm at. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to make that clear because I haven't made it. I hope I don't get food poisoning. Yay! Um, but it, I just wanted to, at the very least, give a brief update in this video because um, my next videos that will be coming out, um, I'm pretty sure I will have a video coming out here soon about the new guns, of course. I'm going to be doing some before you fire reviews, you know, I'm going to be taking them out of their boxes, I'm going to be taking a look at them, you know, showing off how good they are, how, um, just, you know, first impressions. And then here in the next couple of days. Oh wow, this would actually be a really good place to fucking camp out at. Um, after that, I will of course be uh, taking them out and shooting them. Unfortunately, because I'm not going to the ranch, I do not have uh, But um, how good is the un how good is this late shell? Hmm. Probably not good enough to keep. Anyway, um, and so that, you know, I can't just go out off my backyard and, Could end uh, up being useful. I can't just, you know, go out of my house, go to my quote-unquote backyard, and, uh, just kind of shoot. Um, but there is a place that, uh, I can go and shoot at. Um, it's about a half hour away, which, you know, is... A little, a little... Uh, why did I leave that cloth? Um, <clears throat> it's a little inconvenient, but if I'm completely honest, I'm not too beat up about it because um, it's a nice spot, and yeah, I'm just, it, it's, it is what it is, you know? I'm not going to be able to carry this load for much longer. Uh, whatever you say, Mackenzie. We'll, we'll, we'll pretend like you're not a little bitch. But yeah, um, that's kind of the situation. Um, and then I'll be going out and shooting them, um, on camera. Uh, my first time shooting it will be on camera. Oh, nice. Granted, I think... Yeah, I was about to say, I think we already have one. Yeah, we already, we already, we already got one. 
I'm hoping we can get um, another sweater. You know what? I'm now just realizing that we came across a sweater and just kind of fucking left it. Um, wow, yeah, no, we're not going to keep that. But uh, we came across a sweater and we left it because I'm apparently really fucking stupid, even if it is a light sweater. Um, it's an inner layer, so... Yeah. But yeah, the whole experience has been... Um, interesting, to say the least. Um, I don't know how good that is compared to the... Oh, sweet. That is... That is, that is awesome. We have two of those bad boys now, so we will just harvest that and the other one. But it's been an interesting experience, but I'm just honestly glad to still, you know, have a home, have a job, and, um, honestly, it's gonna, I, I think this is going to be the better option, because there was a lot of questions kind of in the air that I was, um, depending on him for answers to. Um, that he wasn't really particularly answering directly. Um, he was kind of dancing around questions, and so this takes care of a lot of the situation. Uh, my only thing is I just hope that, you know, is as cruel as it might sound, I just quite frankly want to be left alone by him. Um, apparently he's moving from where he's at right now here in the near future. He's staying with some of my family that I just recently Thank came into contact again with, and it kind of seems like he might be um, manipulating their um, manipulating their view of me um, into this horrible person because they haven't seen me in so long. They don't they can't particularly um, be a hundred percent certain if it's necessarily incorrect, but I'm hoping that it won't happen and I will be able to continue having a uh, relationship with that family. So, yeah. But anyway, um, yeah, it's, it's been interesting. Um, but like I said, I just want to be left alone. I just want to kind of live my life how I want to live it. And, yeah. So. It, 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 it's been interesting. Um, because, because of this, um, I'm losing out on <laughs> a lot of stuff he was going to give me. And so it's... Um, it's unfortunate, to say the least. Um... You know what, I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna harvest these to lose a little bit of weight. I got no reason not to. But, um... The whole situation is just... Eh. I just wanna be left alone, live my life, and kinda do my own thing. And honestly, it allows me to... Stick with... Um doing this whole YouTube thing and pursuing my other goals um, a lot more readily, um, which is kind of what I'm shooting for here, you know? The whole situation had me unnerved, but um, things are good. Things are very good. Things, things are very good. I think I will upload a video kind of talking um, a little bit more about the situation as a whole because uh, as it stands right now, you know, I'm trying to be not necessarily vague. I'm just trying to kind of describe things while at the same time I'm now realizing that those crows are probably circling over something dead. Maybe that wolf. No, because they were circling before we got there. There might be a... I don't know. 
I'll go back and see if I can find some more crow feathers. But anyway, I'm trying to kind of be not too descriptive and detailed because I'm not 100% sure if I even want to address it at this time. Um, but there is, you know, exciting news and there is exciting content on the way. Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. Let's see if we can get a gun off. Nope, it's not looking like it. Okay, so we did get a shot off. Who? He ruined my balaclava. It's a good thing that I'm pretty sure we have an extra... Oh, that asshole. I just got that ear wrap. I'm just not realizing we're bleeding, and I should probably focus on that first. Uh, let's disinfect. But yeah, I'm trying to be... Uh, I'm trying to kind of uh, avoid talking too in-depth about it at the moment, just because at this time, I'm not sure if I want to be 100%. Or if I want to 100% um, describe everything that's going on yet. Um, this is going to be a lot of weight, isn't it? Yeah, we're carrying a lot of weight. But uh, it's it's very much... Uh, I can know, barely walk yeah, it is what it is. Here. But I have a lot of fun content planned. Um, after I record this, um, I'm going to be contacting a friend of mine to see if they would like to, uh, also jump in on the Minecraft Dungeon series, because, um, I actually just got them, uh, Game Pass Ultimate, um, as just a gift. Um, they're a good friend of mine, and so I got them... Game Pass Ultimate because I, you know, I wanted to do something nice. So I got that, um, you know, and they downloaded Minecraft Dungeons, so I'm hoping that, uh, they and I will be able to, uh, fully enjoy the experience together. Uh, maybe we'll be able to get, like, a full crew of four going, uh, eventually. Um, my cousin, who was originally going to go down to the ranch with me, he's kind of stuck in limbo now. Um, I'm kind of trying to convince him to maybe come here to uh, the town that I live in. I actually almost said the name of the town, but I don't really want to. I'm now realizing because it's a small town and... Yeah. Um, but... Um, I'm trying to kind of convince him to come over this way, back, back over toward, like, um, me and, uh, the other parts of our family that we have here, because he's still in Oregon, and I, my original plan was to have him very much a part of this channel. Um, and I still very much want him to be a part of this channel. But the main issue right now, um, stands as where he's at. His internet does not really work all that well, um, because he works on a farm out in kind of a rural area. And where he's at, um, the... Um, because he's on the same farm as, like, the main house, but it's kind of one of those, like, plunked down, um, plunked, like, it's not necessarily a mobile home, but it's, you know, one of those very quick-built, kind of, almost, like, like kit or prefab structures, um, that was kind of plunked down, and the connection out there with the internet just is very very shoddy we got it to work once for like a half hour if that before it just kind of shit out on him 
Um, and ever since then, it hasn't worked. I went and looked, and I don't know. Um, and apparently that company is, like, kind of iffy on whether or not they want to come out and actually check it out. Um, but, yeah. And, you know, my first thing was like, ah, oh, well, try, uh, you know, maybe it's that actual coax cable that you're going into. I'm like, Where, where's the other ones? And he's like, yeah, I don't have any other ones. And, oh, fuck. You are making a mistake. Oh, that's right, I have the wolf coat on. So, one thing about the wolf skin coat is it actually, uh, has a chance to deter wolves, as you just saw there, the scent, uh, will deter wolves, but it doesn't really seem like he's all that deterred this time. Well, now he's gonna bleed out, so... That is his own dumbass decision. But yeah, um, and so he, he, it, it's a tough situation of that, and so I'm hoping that at the end of the month, because he's um, staying there at least until the end of June, um, and I'm hoping that I'll be able to c convince him to come back over this way. Um, God. Carrying all this meat is a terrible idea. Um, we need to we need to get inside. But I'm hoping uh, I'll be able to convince him to come back over this way. Gosh darn it! Come on, man. Right as I was going for the shot, too. Alright, we need to get inside before we do anything. Um, but yeah, I'm hoping to convince him to come back over uh, this way when he can. Um, hopefully at the um, end of this month. But he has to get like the car that he has like in his name and up and running. And then, you know, of course... He uh, doesn't have his driver's license right now, and so it's kind of a situation of I would go and pick him up and bring him back here. Um, but the issue with that lies in, at that point, he's already paid for the car, and so it would kind of be awkward to just, you know, leave the car. Alright, let's apply this bandage. And let's put some antiseptic on there. And let's pop some painkillers. And then be angry at the fa- Oh, he ruined the snow pants? Oh, you absolute sack of fucking shit. That is... That's unfortunate, um, but we, we can, I mean, that sets us back when it goes to Timberwolf Mountain, because, um, you know, we know, you know, we, our warmth bonuses jump down by 13 degrees, and our windproof bonus has gone down by 3 degrees, but for now, what we need to do is sleep for 12 hours. But yeah, I'm hoping that he'll show up and come, you know, live back closer to me, because I'd love to do my original plan and start making a lot of content with him because he's I almost said he's like family to me he is family um <laughs> but um he's more like a brother to me than a cousin he's um really good guy really fun guy to hang out with and I want him to be uh included with the channel um as much as really possible Oh no, we don't have another balaclava? Are you fucking me in the butt? Okay. Well, we got that. Um... <sighs> Do I have any pants in here? 
I do not. You know what? That just means we can do the deer skin pants. In all honesty, that gives us an excuse. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm hoping he will come, you know, he'll, he'll listen to me, like, being like, hey, fucking come, come live closer to me. Um, because there's a lot of jobs here where actually where I live at. Um, I will do four bandages because there's a lot of job opportunities here and housing here is actually pretty cheap for like apartments and shit. And, uh, and so I'm in this kind of situation where I'm like, uh, man, come on, fucking live over here. You know, it's a really cool place. And, uh, what am I doing? Oh no, I just need to go to my inventory. But, uh, yeah, I'm trying to convince him and he's kind of like, eh, I don't know. So. Hopefully you will, because that would mean I could make a lot more content with him, and uh, just hang out with him more in general. But hopefully, uh, if he did, we'd probably be able to get, like, a uh, Minecraft dungeon series going with a full squad of four, which would just be absolutely awesome. Um, right, I need to drop that wolf pelt. But, you know, it's it's one of those things where... Oh, cool. I think I have enough to make uh, deer skin pants now. But it's one of those things where I can't force him to, but... Yeah. But... Um, I'm hoping he does. Because it'd be really cool to have, like, a f full stacked party for that, but... Until then, I've got uh, two different people that will probably... Uh, well, I know Alexis will record it with me. Um, I just don't know if my other friend will, because... Um, my other friend... Um, I don't think has ever really considered the idea of doing the whole YouTube thing, and I don't particularly know if they want to. Um, but if they certainly want to, I would certainly be like, hells to the yeah, because, uh, well, it would just be awesome. So if I go like this, uh, what, did, what is this at? 78? Okay. So 900 calories for 2.2 pounds. 800 calories. Okay, so. But yeah, it's a um, situation of I've got some exciting content planned. Um, I'm gonna be doing some more dungeon stuff. I haven't really done it in a bit because uh, I've honestly been playing it a lot in my spare time when I could, when I can, because uh, if I'm completely honest, it is probably one of my new favorite games. It is... I am having an absolute blast with it. Um... And so... I, uh... I've just been playing my off-camera character and leveling him up a bunch, and so... Yeah. Um, I've, I've done a lot of stuff. And once... One, I think once I, uh run through a good portion of the game with the character that I've been building up um, on camera. I think at that point I will actually uh, switch over to my other character um, and start using him again because um, right now with him I'm on I have access to the final difficulty um, but I don't really have enough power for it, like, I'm not strong enough for it yet, so, um, yeah, well, this is kind of a shitty situation, um, because we are, um, SOL when it comes to the snow pants, um, and the balaclava, too, the balaclava is the one I, like, the snow pants, yeah, I'm not particularly happy about, but the balaclava is the one that I'm... Well, actually, because the balaclava doesn't really allow good stacking, and so... Oh, wait, this is fresh. 
break. I'm not realizing that. And so the balaclava doesn't really allow good stacking, so um, that actually might be a blessing in disguise. All right, let's stack our pelts back up here. Um, but it might be a little bit of a blessing in disguise, in total honesty, because um, we might be able. Let's see, because I want, because I think what we will do at this point now is we might go ahead and make. Let's see, the pants need three. Yeah, we do have enough. Perfect. I think we'll probably end up doing the rabbit skin hat because the rabbit skin hat is really good. I'm just gonna need to hunt some rabbits, which isn't too hard. Speaking of which, reload this guy. Um, but yeah, um, exciting stuff on the horizon. Gun stuff, more dungeon stuff. Um, yeah, sorry if this video is a little bit scattered. Um, I'm still kind of... Uh, totally, I, I'm still kind of coming to terms with everything that's that happened the past few days, and so it's been kind of a roller coaster. Um, so, yeah. But it's all good, you know. I can't complain too much. I need... Ah, man. Well, I'll have that other one I can use to repair. Um... But what else needs repaired? Uh, wow, they they royally f fucked that thing up. We'll repair these snow pants. Yeah, I've got some exciting stuff on the horizon. Uh, at least I'm hoping it'll be exciting. Um, so here's the hoping. Um, and the channel's actually been. Um, kind of exceeding my expectations. Um, looking at some of my most viewed videos, um, they've been actually doing quite, quite impressive. I'm pleasantly surprised. It's not like I haven't broken a hundred views on a single video yet, but, um, we're making our way there. We're making our way there. But, uh, anyway, um... I think this little boring filler video um, works pretty well. Um, I think I'm going to leave this video here. Um, I'm also going to sleep for like two hours to get some better rest and save. But I'm going to leave this video here, and I'm going to record directly after this another thing of this. That way we can just keep going. Either that or I can make an extra long video. Nah, that might be a little too intimidating. So we're just gonna we're just gonna leave this part here, and we will hop back, or we will hop right back. Um, into this as soon as I uh, finish this and the recording, and yeah. So, anyways, uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I know it's been a little bit, and I know. This video has been a little bit scattered. Um, I'm gonna take a couple minutes break, kind of get into my groove and hopefully this next video will be a little bit more exciting so anyways thank you all so much for watching i hope you enjoyed even if this video has kind of been a really shitty boring one um and if you did you know you know where the like button is and if you're new um and you want to see maybe what my better content looks like hit the subscribe button i come out with regular content and if you guys are interested in helping me to make uh youtube a little bit more of a permanent thing for me um and less of a when I have the time. Um, the Patreon link is down below. Um, and there's all kinds of memberships there. So check it out if you're interested. If you're not, go ahead and check it out another time. Anyway, guys, I will see you all in just a little bit. For me, at least. But next time on The Long Dark.